So it says here, it says classify each salt as acidic, basic, or neutral. Oh, shoot, I'm still on the, uh, the square tool here, sorry. So it says here, classify each salt as a acidic, basic, or neutral. So basically, it's either acidic, basic, or neutral. And we're talking about the following salts. We're talking about this is K2SO4, which is potassium sulfate. You have NH4, NO3. This is ammonium nitrate. And we have here Na. NO2, which is uh, which is sodium uh, sodium nitride. Um, sorry, sorry. So this is sodium. So uh, this is sodium uh, nitrate nitrite. Sorry, NO2 is nitrite. My bad. So uh, let's look at this um, this problem here. So it says classify each uh, salt as basic. Uh, these are all salts. Um, and what, what, when we define what a salt is, it's basically a um, we have a cation and an anion in the in the compound, right? So all of them, all of these, all of these folk here are all salts, and we define salt as salts, and it's basically a anion plus a cation together. So we can we can but basically what we can do is we can actually redraw all of these compounds and we can break them up into its charges, right? So if that helps you visualize the question. So we have here this is K plus we have potassium and we have um, and we have this is sulfate or, or sulfate ion here. Uh, so four two minus here. Uh, we have here this is NH4 uh, positive. This is ammonium and we have nit the nitrate ion here. NO3 minus, and then we have here this Na plus plus the nitrite ion, which is NO2 minus. So take a moment to think about this problem. I broke them then them, them to their uh, cations and their anions. So let me uh, actually let me erase this. It kind of looks bad here, but I kind of I basically drew all of these salts and when they dissociate in terms of solution. So this here is in solution here. So what is a uh, what uh what, so are they acidic basic or neutral so again take a moment to think about this problem here it kind of already helped you out by uh, dissociating these compounds for you but think about the uh, definition of what an acid is what a basic is and what a neutral solution here is and you can think of it in terms of like a ph level like is the ph um from 1 to 14 is the ph uh, closer to 7 is it a neutral solution or is it greater than 7 so it's a basic solution, or is it less than seven, which would make it an acidic solution? So let's look at the first one here. We have here, this is a uh, potassium sulfate, and it says here, um, uh, potassium sulfate, um, we have K plus and SO4 minus, right? So this is here, this here's an ionic compound. We have a metal here, and a, in this case, it's a polyatomic, but it's still a covalent compound. Um, <clears throat> or sorry, it's a it's not, it's a it's a covalent compound here, but it, it combines to form an ionic compound because this is bond covalent, right? So basically, what we have to do is we can we what we have to define here is first what is an acidic solution, what is a basic solution, what is a neutral solution. Right? So let me go, let me do some red. And remember, acidic solutions basically in water, what they do is they are going to lose their hyd hydrogen ion, right? You can think of it as HCl. Um, uh, hydrochloric acid, for example, is going to uh, lose an electron uh, or lose a hydrogen in this case, and then it's going to uh, and then it's going to dissociate into solution, right? So this here is loss of loss of hydrogen, and basic solutions gain gain a hydrogen or gain a hydrogen, right? So if you think about it as um, uh, you can think of it as like NaOH, for example, is a good base, right? It gains a hydrogen here. So again, these are all these are all um, uh, these are, so that that so this is loss of hydrogen here, and then you are going to uh, gain a hydrogen for our uh, for our um, uh, uh, basic solutions. And for neutral, it doesn't really do anything, right? It's just a pH seven. It does not lose any hydrogens. Does not gain any hydrogens. So when we look when we look at um, acid and basic solutions, we can actually look at it as a neutralization reaction as well. So in order for us to make uh, make K two SO four. What we, have, what we have to do, we, we, need, we need acid base, we have to think of it as a neutralization reaction, right? So if we think back to grade 11 uh, chemistry, we talked about this topic of neutralization, or you can think of it as an acid base reaction, right? So we have a, a basically any acid plus any base 
yields uh, a salt plus water, right? And in this case, all of these guys are salts. So basically what we have is we have, we have here S salt is our K2SO4 and water is obviously H2O, right? So we already have these two, uh, these two uh, things already written down for us. But what we have to find out is what is our acid and what is our base, right? So what we can think about is we can actually look at the cations and anions here to think about what our base could be, right? So you have potassium here, a strong metal, and it's probably going, it's not going to, if it combines with a um, halogen, it's going to make another salt, right? So I would need it to combine with a hydroxide to make it base. Remember, hydroxides are very, very good bases, right? So I can say here, this would be KOH, would be a good base, a uh, good base. And for the sake of time, I won't balance these chemical equations for you, but you could balance that at home for you if you wanted to. And for acids, uh, we would have basically something SO4, right? So for example, uh, what would be a good uh, acid that goes with uh, 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 this SO4 here? Obviously, I need a hydrogen because I have to lose a hydrogen, right? So, for example, H2SO4 is a great base, a uh, great acid, sorry. Uh, sulfuric acid right, is H2SO4. So, you have these two compounds. You have H2SO4 plus KOH. You have a strong base and a strong acid, which means my uh, products are going to be uh, a salt. In this case, it will be a neutral salt, right? This here is neutral and water, right? because I have a strong base. I have a strong, this is a strong acid, and this here is a strong base, right? And it's going to obviously neutralize to a pH of seven. So that's awesome, so it's a neutral solution. So let's look at, uh, let's look at B here. So B here, um, so this here is a neutral. So right here is, the salt is neutral. So we can do the exact same thing with B, right? With B here, we have, I'm gonna do some blue here. Actually, uh, this here was, uh, actually maybe we'll just draw a line. And then this is our new solution here. So we have something, it's acid base again. And we have, in this case, our salt here is NaNH4NO3. NO3 plus H2O, right? And again, we have, uh, we need a acid and base to make the salt, right? So let's look at, um, let's look at our uh, cation first. I remember a cation in this case was potassium and we bonded it with a, um, with a hydroxide, right? So that would create our base, right? So let's put here NH4, uh, NH4OH. So we have here, this is uh, ammonium hydroxide is our compound. And we have NO3, again, I need an acid, which means I need some type of acid, right? So I have here, this would be H, NO3 would be A, H, NO3 here would be a great acid, right? This is nitric acid. So again, strong base, sorry, strong acid. We have NH4OH would be a uh, would be our base here, and then I would get a salt, and then I would get water. So again, in this case, what I can do is if you, um, if you look at our uh, NH4 here, uh, acts as our cation. But if you look at what the uh, what the pH of NH4OH is, I, uh, you have to you have to think about is this a strong base or a strong acid here? So in this case, this, uh, NH4OH is actually a weak base. And we we talked uh, this is this is more so actually a grade 12 question rather than a grade 11 question because we didn't really get into this topic of a weak base um, in grade uh, in grade 11. So my apologies here, but this here is a weak base. The reason why it's a weak base is because it actually forms an acid base equilibrium when it uh, when it forms with water, and I can write down that um, I can write down that uh, for you here. So if a strong acid, a weak base, my salt here is a uh, it's an acidic salt, right? So I have here it's an acidic salt because uh, the pH of the strong acid is going to dominate the, uh, the 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 pH of a weak base. And just an aside here, if I were to write the uh, dissociation uh, or the uh, the equilib acid base equilibrium, I have NH4OH plus I have, I mean, it's going to auto, uh, uh, it has, it's in a solution of water. And basically what it does is I have here, it's going to dissociate into this here is NH4, NH4, um, NH4, let's see, it's going to be a base, right? So I'm going, it's going to accept an OH. Uh, it's going to accept an OH here. So this will become OH, uh, OH2. Uh, OH2. Um, give me a second. This would be OH, OH minus here. 
So this here is going to dissociate uh, NH4 plus um, and OH minus. And, um, and this here is going to dissociate into water. And these, these two, what they could do is OH minus, um, OH minus can, uh, can, OH minus here can uh, bond with water to create, um, uh, again, you get another, it's another acid phase equilibrium, right? You have here, this could be uh, H2O, and uh, this would just, you would get, you would get basically two OH ions right here. So basically, uh, th what I'm saying is it, it, it basically goes back and forth in terms of acid base equilibrium because it doesn't uh, fully dissociate um, in solution here. So let me erase this. That's just a little aside because this breaks down to these two components. And basically when, when it, um, when it does, uh, when it dissociates to solution, this here has a PK, uh, this here, this here has a KB of some, some value. I don't, I don't know what the KB is, but you can search it up yourself. Uh, I don't know what, uh, I don't know what language that is. Um, but, uh, I'm hoping you're having a great time on stream. Eduvar, thank you. Thanks for watching. Uh, so that's strong acid, strong base. I get an acidic salt and I get water here. So this here is an acidic solution, um, in terms of this NaNH4. So right here, this is acidic. And then finally, I have my last, last, last question here. The last salt I would have to determine. And this here, the salt here is NaNO2, right? So sodium uh, nitrite. So uh, this here is sodium nitrite plus H2O. And then I have here, this would be, I would get um, uh, NaOH, for example, is a strong base. So get Na is, uh, again, the metal here, and it's going to bond with the hydroxide. So it's a strong base. And then I get something NO2 here. NO2, I would get HNO2. I need an acid, right? This, is, uh, this here is a, uh, an HNO2. Is this here is a strong acid? I have nitric acid. This is nit nitric acid, acid, right? So, or this is HNO2 um, is a weaker acid because I have here a strong acid here. Once it loses its first high, uh, 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 I have nitric acid, which is a strong acid, but HNO2 here is um, is a weak acid. And let me just uh, let me just check for you what the uh, what the pKa is of this one. So nitric acid is strong, obviously. But HNO2, let me just check the Ka for you. Um, yeah, the Ka here is 4.5. Nitrous acid is 4.5 times 10 to the negative 4. So this here would be a weak acid. Again, I don't know the I don't know the uh, the pKa value, the Ka val Kb values, but I know that this is a weak acid here. So if this is a weak acid, this is a strong base. Again, this uh, this here dissociates fully, which means I have, have a basic salt. Because this pH is the pH of the, the NaOH is going to dominate this weak acid here. And again, I could write the uh, the uh, in terms of the weak acid here. This HNO2 plus H2O is going to be in equilibrium uh, with it's going to get NO2 minus here, and I'm going to H3O plus here. This here it makes it acidic, right? Um, so that's what we're doing in this case here. So, um, th so this is here is a weak acid. It doesn't dissociate dissociate fully. This is an acid. There's some type of Ka here, and I believe the Ka was four point five times ten to the negative four here. So yeah, this is this is actually more so a grade twelve question where we're talking about acid base equilibrium. I thought it was more so a, a grade eleven question, but again, for general chemistry, it's um, it, this was this would have been a fair game question here. So finally, I can write here. This is uh, K2SO4 is neutral. Acidic would be uh, ammonium nitrate, and this here would be uh, basic here. So let's see. Um, K2SO4 is neutral as a salt. That's good. Uh, potassium sulfate and um, sorry, potassium. No, this here. Yeah, it forms potassium sulfate. So uh, sulfuric acid, potassium hydroxide formed by salt. Uh, any energy uh, as ammonium nitric nitrate. Sorry, is acidic because I get a weak base uh, when I any NH4OH ammonium hydroxide is a weak base and H, uh, nitric acid is a strong acid so therefore it conforms it forms a weak acid that's good so it's acidic salt and then um, basic because NO2 is not oh sorry this is uh, NO2 is not the list of acidic ions it is basic um, the explanation here isn't the greatest but what I would have written um, for, so I would say good solution, but clear explanation for NaNO2 being basic would be, but a clear, sorry, would be how 
nitric nitrous acid HNO2 is a weak acid with NaOH uh, strong base would uh, produce a basic salt. So I'm going to basically improve on the solution by writing this here. So HNO2, I know nitrous acid is a weak acid, and this here is a strong base. So the solution is correct. Either way.